Okay, here we are at this end of the second full day of Targa. That's day three. It, it seems like the event should be over with the atmosphere here, but we've still got three days to go. Leading modern two-wheel drive, it's Martin Zippy. He was closing in on Clark Proctor, and Clark Proctor's car's broken. They were only about six seconds apart at the time. Massive battle going on there, but Martin Zippy's now got a bit of a gap. Middleman Classic, Bevan Claridge has got the lead back. That battle has been going on since the start of the event. Swapping times and swapping leaderboards at the end of each day, but it's the Holden Commodore leading the way today, and we'll just have to see if we can hold on to that game tomorrow for the games. One moment of stay. We've managed to hold on to our lead in the Andrew Sims four-wheel drive class today. But I got a little bit of a shock in the last stage. I got beaten by a two-wheel drive 1600cc car of Marcus Van Klink. He really had a push through there, and it's, it's a little bit embarrassing to get beaten by him, to be fair. But we'll, we'll see if we can get some time and beat him in a few stages tomorrow. Other action in our category, Matt Wales has had an engine problem, and that's put him out, which is a pity because he was really starting to improve. It really is his first big long target, and the times yesterday were steadily getting better. He was doing some good times, and it's a big disappointment that he can't complete the event. Let's just hope they can source another engine and get going for later in the week. As is Jason Gill, he's had a few mechanical dramas all through the event so far. He's out with a clutch. He's going to try and get that fixed and rejoin with the two-day regional event at the end of the week. And of course the other big one in our category, Elliot Kirkbanan in what was a beautiful, and hopefully still can be, beautiful little Subaru. He's come a cropper in a really, really tricky section of road. We weren't far behind him and, and you know, like it was actually quite good to have a Zedka because it was a dodgy crest. But he's done a very good job up until that point. I tell you what though, it was the second to last stage, it was also very tricky, lots of technical bits, and Bruce Farley in a BMW, he's come down a hill, across a bridge, and there was a whole lot of mud, exceptionally slippery, we thought we were going slow and we almost slipped into him, so it was a really tricky little spot, and he's done a little bit of damage to his BMW. So here we are wrapping up day three of Targa. It's a bit tricky because it feels as if it's almost like an end of event, but there's still three massive days to go. You need to get lots of sleep, keep sharp and do a good job, but I'm not so sure everybody has that idea. The service crews and a few drivers and co-drivers look like they might set in for the night and have some fun. <laughs>